Today sees me in Leeds. Many people consider Leeds to be the modern capital of Yorkshire. It came to prominence and boomed in the Industrial Revolution. It was a big, big town of textiles. Today, it's a really buzzing, hip university town. Many smart hotels and a very, very diverse food culture. And it's that food culture that excites me. Leeds embraces all types of gastronomic enterprise, be it microbreweries, homegrown artisanal produce, or the unstoppable popularity of the street food movement in the UK. With an array of month-long food festivals and celebrations taking place across the year, such as the Indie Food Festival and Leeds Food Festival, there is so much to enjoy. I'm going to check out some of these places that make it so special. My first stop is here at the Trinity Kitchen, a unique location that celebrates the street food scene and gives smaller vendors a chance to show off their new ideas. From ice cream sandwiches to boozy beef, what is not to love about that? Lots of great food here, but I want to try this stand. Apparently it specialises in Indian street food. That means colour, spice and loads of flavour. I've got my lunch. George, what do you do here? I am uh, the supervisor and also head of all the social media on site. So what have you done here? We've, you've got one open so I can see it and yeah. one rolled up. So this is our uh, Kashmiri chicken tikka and karalan dal roll. Uh, it's got a mix of different salads in there. You've got uh, like carrot, cabbage, uh, frizzé lettuce, savoy cabbage, lots of different seeds and spices, all from the streets of India. That is solidly good. That is sweet, it's spiced, the meat is really moist, that's bursting for the flavour. How would you sum up this concept? So our owner, Mark, he went off to, us, um, to India. In the streets in India, it's all fresh, it's all healthy, it's all cooked right in front of you. No heavy curries, no like oily meats. What makes this healthier than our usual British curry? Okay, so this is all fresh, all uh, salads and fresh spices. No cream is used, it's not in thick and heavy sauces What about dal? Well. What, 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 what about butter, what about ghee? No butter or ghee in any of the food. I'm impressed with the concept. Yeah. I'm particularly impressed with the food. Yeah. That is hot and spicy. So spicy, in fact, that I think I might need something a little bit cool, a little bit cold, maybe a little bit sweet to calm down my palate. <laughs> Thank you. I have to confess, I've been here before. This is Northern Block ice cream, and they do some amazing flavoured ice creams, including this one, my favourite, black treacle. You know, this is probably one of my favourite tastes in life. The other one is proper beer. Leeds has been producing beer for centuries. They have a fine tradition of it. In fact, you know what? They've probably in their time produced over 150 billion pints of beer. And I'm off right now to see a young man who's keeping an old brewing tradition alive in a very modern way. Set here in an old mill, once a common landmark of industrial Leeds, this brewery pays homage to old traditions and processes, as well as trying new recipes, including one that's 10%. Now that's designed to put hairs on your chest. I called up with Russell Bissett, the mastermind behind these wonderful ales, who is inspired to keep this practice alive. That looks and smells a little bit like a fruit juice. Quite. That is amazing. That starts as beer and finishes as rhubarb. Fascinating watching the beer being made. Are these some of your favourites, Russ? They're some of the more interesting ones we produce. So here we've got a salted lime whipped beer. Now this uses kefir lime leaves and we use salted limes in the fermentation vessels, uh, post-fermentation too. So it's got a really distinct kind of fragrance and aroma. You've made that with kefir lime leaves. We would know that from Thai cookery. That is actually amazing. Thank you very much. Well, I really like my PT, PT whiskies. Well, there you go. I think so. this might be for you. I think our, our favourite descriptor of this beer, though, is someone described it as um, like warm, dirty money and shoe polish. Wow. Now, that tastes sweet and it's, it's really strong. That tastes like someone put some whiskey in my beer. Well, quite, yeah. You really get the kind of the whiskey notes that come from the, um, the peated malts. This, this, has, this is... This has got hardly any nose at all. Well, quite. I mean, it's, these are, you know, they're really kind of out there, so to speak, beers, whereas this is kind of much more um, approachable. That's really refreshing. It's big on flavour. Yeah, it doesn't feel thick and sticky. That's really refreshing. And that, finish, that starts bitter, that starts bitter, goes sweet and finishes bitter again. Mate, these are complex drinks. 
These are, these are complex. You've taken beer to a completely different level. That's the idea, that's what we're trying to do. If I drink more of these, I'll be completely and utterly level. <laughs> I like these, this one I love. From one ancient process to another, bread making. And there's a new cooperative that I'm very keen to visit, and that's where I'm going next. Here I am in this special bakery, the Leeds Bread Co-op. It's an artisanal bakery trying new recipes like toasted sunflower seed and polenta sourdough and celebrating the old ones. Phil, hi. Can you explain to me what it is you do here? Uh, yeah, we're, a, we're an artisan bakery. Uh, we're also a workers' co-op. Um, we make mainly sourdough bread. We make it by hand. Uh, do that every day. And where, where, does, where does your bread go? Um, most of our bread goes wholesale, so bars, restaurants, uh, delis, that sort of thing. You are, so you're making the bread here for, for the local eateries of, of this fair city? Yeah, yeah, we do farmers markets too, and uh, a subscription scheme where we drop bread off at different points around the city and then people come and pick it up. This is a relatively new enterprise? Uh, yeah, we're just coming up to two years. I want to try this polenta. Can I? Yeah, I got stuck in. I'm a big polenta fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We make um, a sort of porridge with it. It's called a, like a hot soaker with hot water about an hour before we put it into the bread. And that just, it keeps a bit of texture, <sighs> but... I've never smelt bread like that. That's almost like smelling a pint of beer. Great bread, Phil. Any chance you can deliver where I live in Kent? Mm, possibly mail order. Well, I've enjoyed that. Do you know what I think now? Time for dinner. Leeds is also well known for its multicultural influence, with many international cuisines flourishing in the city. One such small group embracing this and catering to the Asian influence is a homegrown Leeds success story, Sukatai. Starting with one restaurant in 2002, they now have three across the city and one in Harrogate, and a street food restaurant for over 100 covers. I headed over there to check them out. Well, what an absolute treat. I'm here with my friends Ban and Tom, and you have had restaurants now in Leeds for 15 years? 15 years. And you've built a seriously brilliant reputation, and you're going to cook two dishes for me? Yeah. What, what, what are you going to make? I want to cook like a papaya salad and Thai salad, very famous in Thailand. And I will show you how to cook papaya salad. You say papaya, we yeah. say pawpaw, a papaya salad, pawpaw salad. Yes! Yeah. Go! Okay. Go! Let's do it. Will I like this food? Yeah. Will I be happy? Yeah. Really happy. And did like a chopped salai. Now there's a way of preparing a, a vegetable. Yeah. Right, let me get this right. So we've yeah. got two dishes going on here. You've got pawpaw, you yeah. shredded. Yeah. In there we've got the seriously hot chilli. Yeah. Yeah. You've got the dried prawn. Yeah. You've now got tomato, yeah. garlic yeah. Yeah. and lime. Yeah. Yeah. So no salt. The salt comes from this. Yeah, from this. I tell you, I am yeah. salivating already. Yeah. Make you hungry now. Yeah. You know who loves Thai food? My friend John Tarod from MasterChef. And how you check? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Spicy. Oh! Not for chili. Yeah. Sweet, salty, citrus, lime, and then the heat. But, yeah. Hua. Yeah. Hua. Right. We fried an egg. Yep. Yeah. We've chopped some lean chicken. And in here is chili and chili and garlic. Chili and garlic. What I love about this city is the blend of old fashioned traditional and cutting edge new ideas. I didn't realise the city had so much. I'm coming back, maybe I'll see you there. Right, let's dive into this, come on. <laughs> 